one more evidence of Russia's presence in Donbass region. Soldiers from Ukrainian 54th Brigade have captured a Russian militant. The lieutenant Oleksiy Sedikov confirmed Russian-backed separatist forces shell their own positions in order to blame the Ukrainians. Ukrainian journalist arrives at the hospital, where the seized Russian is currently being treated. He is reluctant to start talking, demanding instead he should be accompanied by Russian diplomats. The village of Troitske in Donetsk region has been under heavy shellings for nearly 10 days. Ukrainian soldiers say before catching Russian militants, they witnessed more and more shootings with banned heavy weapon. Despite the never-ending attacks, the National Guard fighters caught the enemy. There were three of them, says an officer from Vinnytsia region in central Ukraine. On having noticed the Russians, he started shooting. One of the terrorists, allegedly named Natan Sakirov, died immediately. The other two were taken to the field hospital, though one died later. Sedikov is the only one left alive. Shortly after seizure, the imprisoned Russian insisted they undeliberately came to the Ukrainian foothold. Ukrainian soldiers, however, seriously doubt this version, since they had found a mined fire unit and a recently installed landmine. Apart from the hidden ammunition, the soldiers of 54th Ukrainian Brigade share. While treating the wounded Russians, they noticed an enemy group of about 18 persons. The detainee claims there was no one, accusing the Ukrainian side of defamation. But his negation is easy to demask, since those standing on the foothold claim they have also seen a big enemy group. Has Sedikov known he was followed or not is hard to guess. Ukrainian soldiers, though, assure if he is telling the truth about being unaware, this means Kremlin used Sedikov and his accomplices as a live target. The journalists suppose these few militants were supposed to draw the attention of the Ukrainians, while a more numerous gang prepared to attack Ukraine's positions. The seized Russian officer is said to remain imprisoned. As soon as the doctors cure his wounds, the detainee is anticipated in Ukrainian military court.